Today we'll be playing a very historically accurate mod for Hoyo 4. You might not see it in here, it looks pretty much like the base game, but that's okay. Today we'll be playing as Iceland. And for, you know what, historical, why not? I can't see what's so special about it just yet. For that, we need one dude, which might be a little difficult considering we don't really have factories. Making guns might be a bit more difficult than expected, but maybe we can just buy it. Off of uh oh we can't we cannot we have nothing. What do we have our fact? We have one dockyard and one civilian fact. Great. This might be more difficult than I thought. Finally, it took me like a year and a half pretty much, but I finally have factories producing guns for us. Which brings me one step closer to the purpose of this mod. I'm just gonna pump out to dude preemptively. There you go, the glory of our nation. One not even not even half equipped unit. But this is what we were waiting for. General Sportacus literally has every trait under the sun. Put that boy in charge. He's a genius in everything. He literally has every single trait possible. Though I think we might have been better off promoting him and putting him on here. That way he makes use of every single trait that he has. It's a shame we don't have a, si a single other general that's quite as good as him. No, I'd say, I'd say this guy is a little bit worse. Wouldn't you agree? And now that we have our glorious leader in control, well, army leader in control, rather, it's time for us to break away from the scumbags that is Denmark and get back, and get back to our Viking Sportacus ways. We need more fascist support. I don't think we have much. Yeah, we can get this one, but he's not that great. Is there anything else that gives me fascist support? No, I guess we have to stick with the Nazi sympathizer, even though he's largely useless. Look at that, our general or field marshal rather is so impressive. He doesn't even fit into the military high command. What the? He doesn't even fit into the military staff. There we go, finally become independent. We even have some manpower. Absolutely incredible. And we're on our way to get our second unit. We cannot go for limited conscription, but we can go for extensive conscription for some reason. I like how isolation, economic law, only applies to limited conscription. Well, I mean, we're gonna go for that then. What are they gonna do? Stop me? I don't think so. Oh, in here we can do a civilian economy. I kind of forgot about that. Might as well go for that first. We we'll get our free trade and civilian economy straight into partial mobilization. We ain't messing around. Porticus needs his sacrifices. I'll improve relations with Denmark. I don't think they really need that. But I'd like to think that maybe they'll improve our chances for proclaiming the empire. Because they could potentially give us Greenland. Oh, and I forgot all of these bonuses. Recruitable pop. Definitely go for that one first. Now let's see if Denmark uh, gives me what I want. I'll pump out another unit just to be safe. Maybe they'll be intimidated by my sheer fucking army size of 27,000 dudes. Now, did you give me my shit? Oh, they just... The idiots actually gave me Iceland for free. I guess they must fear Sportacus as much as everyone else's. Well, let's see if they give me passage in here. Maybe they'll give me the islands for free. They might be as dumb as Denmark. Will they give me those islands? The UK remains defiant, but Denmark caved somehow. And Norway that remains defiant. Okay. So Denmark gave me some shit. I don't know what they gave me. I guess this little island in here. That's cute. Thank you very much. But I might have to go and uh, fight them next up. Because these vile motherfuckers dare not give me the land that is rightfully mine. We got all of our claims. What do we do now? Um, yeah, oil drilling. Why not? Sounds fun. What else do kids do these days except for oil drilling? Now, we might not really have a navy, but I'm hoping that the UK has a navy. More than anything. Sure, our army is pretty much trashed here. It's not the end of the world. I will put an extra artillery in here, maybe. Make it a bit more beefy. Is there... Oh, yeah, we can convert that. That's actually exactly what I need. Although, I think I'd prefer air bases as well. Who the hell is Bjorn Svensson Bjornsson? It must be one of those minor uh, lazy town characters that I don't know about. Oh, no. In order to do this one, we actually need... Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I, I do have to reload. Does it start at a month? Because I do want to construct those goddamn um, boats. Sure, they're going to be ass. A complete hot garbage. But it's better than nothing. Let's also get the German consul in. He'll give me a weekly 50 
manpower, which is better than nothing, really. I feel like we could get more manpower than what we currently get. I remember when I just started it, I, I feel like I got like 2,000 weekly manpower or something, which was overpowered, but still, if you want to do something as this nation, might need something like that. There we go. All of our troops are trained up now. Wouldn't mind getting some Marines, actually, into my army. So whether or not that'll be possible remains to be seen. Yeah, let me join the, the faction already, though. Might as well go to War Economy, because, you know, we're, we're here already. We're not going anywhere else. And I'm very curious about what it's going to look like when we march in. And in 50 days, we'll have our first boats. We got one entire boat. Didn't even need to pay manpower for it, I think. What the fuck? We get instant... Did you see that? Oh, yeah, no, never mind, because we're not at war. That makes complete sense. Anyway, refit more. And you know what, dude? Fuck it. Declare the war. Slow down time. Surely... Oh, damn it. I was, I was hoping we'd be able to move in. Uh, but we have pretty much zero naval supremacy in here. Even in our own turf. Oh, we need civilian trains. We need to research that. We don't know what those are. Kind of forgot about that. I'm sure eventually the UK is going to be like, yeah, we cannot afford our navy being out 24-7. We're going to stop. That's when we strike. Sporticus's bloodthirst will not be quenched by mere words. In the meantime, just keep building up our boats. Eventually, see, we got 0.2 naval supremacy. We need like 500 destroyers and then, <laughs> and then we'll be ready. Maybe. And there's another dude. Might as well try him, right? He's got nothing better to do. The rest of my manpower, you know? Yeah, sure. Go into the Navy. Why not? There's a naval invasion plan on Iceland. Oh, they, they ain't ready for us, man. Wait, we already earned a medal? Shit, dude. Thank you. I didn't... We didn't even do anything. Yeah, we've taken zero casualties. What the hell? What did we earn the medal for? Oh, no. The US has joined. I don't like that. Hey, yo. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, no. The naval invasion might not be as uh, powerful as I was hoping it would be. Although saying that, we are killing them. What the hell? Okay, good news is that we, we did take it. Bad news is we only have two units left. Actually, no, that's not true. We have these two. I guess they escaped. We have four units left. Well, maybe we do have only three units left. This one's barely alive. God damn, what did I do to you? Might need to go to scraping the barrel soon. Jesus. Oh no, they're taking my island. But that's okay. I don't mind. They're also attempting to land on Reykjavik. You can land as much as you want. We'll hold out, as you can see. In fact, can we kill him? No, not yet. Don't, 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 don't bother with that. Let them chill. Spartacus will demand his blood sacrifice soon enough. Oh, I didn't even realize our faction is fighting the Soviets. When did that happen? Must not have been paying attention, huh? Look, they have almost finished off this encirclement. Well, we barely did anything, but still. I appreciate it nonetheless. Oh, they're back. That's okay. I'll let them strike at us. Then once they're weak-willed, crush them utterly. Hooray, we were successful. Dude, we did kill like uh, almost 100,000 British dudes alone. I'm thinking, what if I just go in here? What, one unit, huh? Just do a quick little naval invasion. Oh, no, no, no. Don't attack in there. No need to attack him back. I mean, as you can see, that was going to be successful anyway, but I'd rather not risk it. Oh, I didn't even notice. Another invasion. Very cute. Oh, they're actually almost dead. Never mind. Can I ask them to give me my goddamn island, please? Thank you. That is my by mine by birthright. Oh, damn, a massive naval invasion this time around. At least I can crush them pretty easily. Especially if they keep attacking me like this. I don't even need to retake those tiles. They can they can keep them for all I care. I'm close to doing the naval invasion, actually. That's surprise. Oh, no, actually, I am doing the naval invasion. It's just one troop. I was going to say, likely of it succeeding is uh, not that high. Unless they didn't garrison it. They are garrisoning it. That was a waste of manpower. No, don't do it again, you fool. Well, service by requirement is still rolling in. After that, I'll go even further to all adult serve and then scraping the barrel. Every baby will fight for Sporticus. So if you didn't declare war on Iran, okay. Why'd you do that? But whatever. You know what? Maybe I should just... I was going to say attack. No, not quite going as well as I was hoping what I could do. Cute naval invasion, eh? In 11 days, I'll be able to declare that one. Because it'll be a lot easier to deal with these troops once they're encircled, baby. I was going to say once they're encircled, but we just straight up overran them. Okay. My troops were a little bit too effective, apparently. <laughs> now we get to move in. You know, with the naval invasions, it was kind of tough to see how good or bad our troops are. But with this, 
Spartacus is really coming through properly. Still need a lot of manpower, but you know, there's only so much we can do with that. And once again, another troop dead forever. Wait, where's the fourth troop? Oh, there it is. I got scared. I thought uh, another one disappeared. Encircle this one, please. And kill him off pretty much instantly as well. Ooh, that is so good. Oh, we even have a, a spy network going on. Nice. Not that we really need it at this point. Just walk in, my dudes. Walk in, take tiles, kick ass. Surely we're ready to cap him. Actually, if we take Liverpool, maybe. Oh, yeah, this is it. This is it. Was that enough? It was indeed enough. We got all of Scotland, even. Nice. And now we can hopefully get our islands back, too, huh? What? No, they're they're reverse invading us. You assholes. How dare you? We'll get it back, though. Eventually. Oh, yeah, definitely. Look at that. We're, we're killing off the troops. How's the casualties looking on, on, on the British? We killed almost 300,000. Damn, okay. For a second, I thought that was Texas, but no, that's just Chile. Let them invade for all I care. One naval invasion in here. Is this going to be successful? Doesn't appear to be. Let's do them one at a time, I guess. All right, this one's at least free, so that's good. And from here on out, invade this island as well. Come on, land already. Almost. Oh, we did it. We did it. Ooh, got everything back except for like newfound land. Oh, we can work with it. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, we can do the naval invasion? Nice. I did not expect that, actually. That quickly as well. Sportacus almost has his ancestral lands. Come on. Land for Sportacus. Land, goddammit. Uh-oh. Force attack. Sacrifice your life. Pakistan, I mean Sportacus. It, it seems to be working, actually. Sure, we're losing a lot of manpower, a lot of everything, but we made it. I think, yeah. We can raise the monument. We did lose an additional unit, but that's to be expected. Worthy sacrifices of our Lord and Savior. Oh, and that's the final island that we have. Okay, we'll get control of this as well, right? I think. Might as well go get it. Our final island. Liberated from the vile scum that is the United States. Oh yeah, I forgot we do need control over in here which might be a little difficult oh look at we are owner and control we even get manpower because of it all right i think that this is pretty much it for this campaign i mean i played as fucking sportacus the genius 12 attack 10 defense 10 planning an incredible guy then we got scotland out of it are all of our i think we literally control all that we have cores on except, except for this little tiny thing less than four thousand people here with a recruitable population of uh, four entire dudes. Anyway, like I said, this is pretty much it for this campaign. I hope you enjoyed this very historical, definitely not overpowered mod with sport at the helm of our um, empire. If you did, consider leaving a like, comment, or subscribing. Helps out a lot. Hopefully, I'll see you next time, and hopefully, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.